Hey folks, we're, we're back. back! I'm... I'm just spinning. Just spinning. Oh god, just so tired. Did you give me a second to like set up the clock and then kill myself with energy drink? Are you ready folks? Are you ready to hear me? Alright, here we go. Alright, Jay's gonna die on camera because of energy drinks. Oh, it doesn't return you to like I'm, full health when you unsave. Damn. I'm poisoning my body. Can you hear it? Can you hear the poison? Hmm. Why am I so low on health? Uh, because you never healed up after the boss fight. Oh yeah, you're right. Whatever. Remember, you were in the sewers. You yeah, I remember. The boss. They're in a big way. Blah blah blah. Whatever um, you say, little. You know what? The fat, like a toad with a turban, is actually a pretty neat design. I like that. So I've been reading some more Transformers comics lately. And, um, Much to the surprise of no one. Yeah. So I, I went back to the like uh, the early bits of the IDW continuity when it was still being written by Simon Furman. Mm. Neat. And um, anyway, my favorite character of all time is Six Shot. And when they first introduce him, uh, basically Megatron has a six phase um, plan for infiltrating uh, planets. That's a lot of phases. Yeah, it's basically like, uh, landing, uh, establishing a base, uh, converting some of the local populace to Decepticon sympathizers, taking over systems of government, um, and then, uh, conquest. Right. Uh, and phase six is the optional phase that almost never happens. Where basically the whole deal is, uh, phase six is all out war. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, ah, there we go. So, to that end, he's built a few robots called Phase Sixers. One of them right. being Six Shot. Yeah. And, uh, they, basically his whole deal is that he can tr he has six different transformations, he's triple the size of, like, Optimus Prime, and he has enough firepower to take on a large starship. So why is, uh, why has he never sent Six Shot after Optimus, considering he did. how much- Oh. In, in this particular set of comics. I'm gonna take some of your gummies. Go for it. Yep. Basically, the only reason Optimus lived was because he convinced Six Shot he was dead. Ugh. I guess that's the only way to really stop a, <laughs> a, a murder bot. Yeah. Is to make it think it's done murdering. Uh, basically what happens... Six Shot has a preset kill limit. So I sent wave after wave of my own robots at him. Okay, bas basically at one point, um... A human child basically stole something of Megatron... Or, no, killed one of Megatron's agents. And Megatron was pissed. As he to, should be. To the point where he no longer cared. And he's like, call in Six Shot. And like all the other robots are like, do, do we have to? And he's like, yeah, call in Six Shot. And then Six Shot shows up. And he's like, I'm, I'm a Phase 6 kind of bot. Th this place, this place looks like Phase 2, 3 tops. And Megatron's like, I know. Just do it. Just go and kill Ratchet. And he's like, well, well, I can, but when I do what I do, everyone will know. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> and he's just like, don't, and he's just like, do it anyway. And Six Shot just stares at him for a minute and is just like, all right. So basically, uh, the only information Six Shot has to go Fuck. on is that, uh, there's a large mountain range where the Autobots probably are. So his fair uh, enough. So his solution was level the mountain range. All right, yeah, I can get behind such a simple mission statement. There so, we go. Timing takes a while to figure out. So the Autobots have to get into their ship to get away from him, yeah. which he proceeds to shoot out of the air. Okay. Uh, which crash lands in New York. Uh, and he sees Ratchet get out, and everyone else apparently died. Fair enough. Oh, I think you have to whack him. Yep. And then he gives you the... The what? bomb. Yeah, what even is that? It's probably best not to ask. Anyway. Oops. Um, he sees Ratchet escape into the streets of New York, and he Three sees him transform into an ambulance. Yeah. So, so he his... starts hunting down every ambulance? Yeah, his solution is kill every ambulance. 
I can't fault him for, uh... Can't fault him for that. I swear, there's a special ability. I don't know I, I don't know when you get it, but it lets you just hop down the row of guys. Yeah, it's a badge. I remember that one. Maybe we don't actually have any weapons. Alright, cool. You know what? I have enough fire. I have enough flower power for this. But yeah, it becomes a thing where um, all the Autobots have to come out of hiding pretending to be dead. Uh, Wait, what? Wouldn't staying in hiding make their whole we're dead thing more convincing? Well, the whole deal was that he was destroying literally every ambulance. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. So they're like, shit, I guess we have to go fight Six Shot now. <laughs> okay, yeah. And then like three of them die. And the only reason they beat Six Shot was because uh, the Reapers show up and Six Shot decided to go and deal with that because they were an immediate threat to him and the Autobots weren't. Uh, fair enough. And basically as he's fighting the Reapers, Starscream decides that he's gonna make a play for power by kicking the shit out of Six Shot. Why? <laughs> Why is he so bad at everything that he thinks that's a good idea? Because he'll think because he thinks everyone will respect him if he manages to kill Six Shot. Why does he even Which, think Which in his defense is true? But where why does he think he could ever beat Six Shot? Starscream can't accomplish jack shit. And basically this leads to like a uh, three panel thing of just six shot kicking the shit out of Starscream before it turns out that Starscream stole um stole a piece of equipment that lets him deactivate Six Shot that Megatron had created at one point because Megatron realized that he actually couldn't take Six Shot. Yeah. So, hold on. Why did why did Starscream who can't beat Megatron think he could beat a guy who could handedly beat Megatron? Uh, because he knew he had that thing. But as for why he thought he could do it the first time, I have no idea. Alright. So this confirms what I always say, is that Starscream is poorly thought out at best, because there's almost, like, no... There's no justification for someone being that incompetent and being kept around by the higher-ups. Other than the higher-ups must have some, like deep-seated desire to fail. Well, the whole idea with uh, Starscream and IDW was that he was obviously a traitor, and Megatron would just kick the shit out of him in the worst ways imaginable. And uh, just by keeping Starscream around, it's just like, so are you gonna betray Megatron, or are you gonna end up like Starscream always does? Fair enough. He becomes a living example of why you shouldn't fuck with the boss. Yep. And, uh, Earth was actually just some backwater planet where he stuck all the failures, including Starscream. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, until it turned out that Shockwave had been using Earth as an experimental ground, uh, for, like, this special type of Energon, which is, like, their food, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, um... Oh, right, you can't block those. They find out Shockwave had been using it for an experiment. I keep looking and I keep remembering I don't actually have any, uh... Just use the sleepy sheep. No, oh, I don't need those sleep... I don't need those sheep. You're gonna get hit by rocks. You're gonna get hit by rocks. Anyways, like, yeah, Earth is just where he was keeping the failures until it turns out that Shockwave was keeping something really important on Earth because no one would ever think to look there. Not entirely wrong. Nothing ever happens on this planet E-Earth. Like, at, in, in his defense, uh, when he sent it to Earth, uh, the dinosaurs had just been extincted and it, and it was the Ice Age. Mm, fair enough. And there was like literally no tactical value to Earth whatsoever. Other than it was just a rock that had things on it. Yeah, it, w it was just a rock that was home to woolly mammoths and a series of primitive primates. And he's just like, eh, none of these species are advanced enough to pose a threat. I'll just leave it here. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I see where this is. And then like 40,000 years in the future... Everything goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah, cooked food. Yeah. That's been in my pocket for weeks! It's legitimately been like two weeks. Oh, okay. you need the paratrooper. Three dimensions are hard. 
but it's hard when your KD is. Yeah. I, I struggle to actually understand what's Mario's hitbox in this half the time. Yeah. Because there's a little bit of thickness to it. Just to but it's, it. yeah, but you're never, because it's never a consistent amount of thickness. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Mario doesn't have consistent girth. <laughs> he has only okay, he's only a little bit thick. He's not too thick, though. It's like his mustache, it's just the right amount of thickness. Oh, you can get that letter with, uh... Yeah, yeah. I remembered. What fucking button was it? It's down on the C-stick. Oh god. Yeah, because I'd clicked that before, and I guess I didn't click it hard enough, because the game was just like, you didn't do nothing, bro, and I'm like, oh... Yeah, sometimes video games are like that. Uh oh Hammer! Hammer it! Hold on. These guys, I gotta remember how much health they have, because they are the worst things to fight. Nice work. Can't do action commands, right? Oh. It has defense of two. I think two is the maximum amount of damage you can do without it being a super jump. Bombs will also work. Yep. That would be the uh, title of my upcoming autobiography. <laughs> Bombs also work. The story of JRR. <laughs> JRR. Bomb, well, bombs will also work. The JRR story. <laughs> you know, I try to. I, 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 I oftentimes try not to fall into. Oh, it's the, one of the. Yeah. I oftentimes try not to fall into the trap of making. Oh, I think you can start an attack with uh, Bomb Ed, actually, if yep. you use, like, the down stick. Down C. Oh! Oh, fuck. Hey! Yeah! That'll learn ya! Oh, that worked out nicely! Yeah. So I'm gonna run in a little experiment, because I think I vaguely remember this being able to do something. Nope. Thought right, I could so... flip them. No, it's the next level of hammer that can flip them. That's how that works. No, the next level of hammer can hurt them. I think if you hurt, hit them hard enough with the hammer, though, they'll flip over, and then they lose their defense. Or that might have just been with a special ability, you know? Honestly, I don't remember. Holy crap! This guy paid out! Oh no, no! Eh, no, whatever. my it's coin! Oh. Hey, I got it! Alright. Yeah, I remember half, uh, you had to use Bombat to, like... Hold on, I have an idea. Yeah! Oh! Got him on the back! Well played! <laughs> I'm a genius. It was me, Monty Mole! It was me all along! Oh, son of a bitch! Boop. Anyway, yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, right, yeah, inconsistent thickness. Star Scream being a moron. No, I think we covered our bases for today. That seems to be the basic, uh... Let's see here, we made our penis joke, we talked about Transformers, I think we've gone through the itinerary. Oh, I just got back from a Transformers convention. Surprising no one. It was fucking amazing. I made new friends, I got some really sweet toys. That was cool. Uh-oh. Where's Bombette? Help! Jane, stop this crazy thing! <laughs> oh god, he's gaining! <laughs> just leave! No! I want the XP. Fuck! I deserve that, I guess. God damn it, Jay. The important thing is I killed him. And you got all three of the experience points. Hey, that adds up. Reaper son of a level. Yeah, well, there'll be a time when I'll be, like, at a level by just three points and you'll know exactly. Ow. Yeah, but you could have just fought a different enemy for that 3 XP. In fact, you probably could have fought another enemy in the time it took you to dodge around that guy. Too bad you can't swap them out and attack at the same time. Yeah. Well, I can't even afford his, uh, shell attack right now anyway. Oh yeah, good point. 
Man, this desert's hard. No, it's not even the desert. This is fucking this cliff system is hard. It's jagged and unforgiving. Anyways, my father's we love. will see you next time, folks. Ooh, heart.